DPR is a, a national uh, general contractor uh, focused in five core markets, uh, healthcare, life sciences, higher ed, corporate office, and advanced technology. Uh, we focus in those areas because we found that that's what we're good at. By being focused, it's allowed us to be um, you know, more consistent in, the, in what we deliver to our customers. Knowing that the, that the market is volatile, uncertain, it's very difficult to, to predict. By staying focused in, in what we do best, we've been able to really provide great results to our customers, which in turn has kept us busy. Fortunately, our core markets, they're offset of each other. So when healthcare might be down, life sciences or advanced technology may be on an upswing. As I finished up school, I was working as a, a facilities technician in the semiconductor industry in the Bay Area. I realized that uh, what I really enjoyed doing was, was in, in that technical um, construction side, helping to develop new projects and put new technology into place. And as my career grew there, as an in-house facilities engineer, I crossed over to the construction side, uh, working for a, an engineering and construction firm, and decided, you know, that's really what I enjoyed. I think it all really stems back to my, to my background. Growing up, I worked in retail with my, my folks who had hardware stores, and working in the hardware store helped me you know, really develop a, a, an understanding of mechanical and electrical things uh, and helping people. People in, in our company are just uh, uniquely different. Um, they're very dedicated to what they do. They're disciplined in what they do and following through. And you know, I don't have to worry about um, chasing people down to, to, to know what's going on. I can depend on them to just do what's, what's needed to be done. If you distill it down to its, its essence, it's really a shared leadership is what it's all about. And so it, it allows people to take on as much responsibility as they can handle. Uh, some people choose to take more than others, and, and that's okay. We need people that, that will grow at different rates and, and can take on different responsibilities. We recently relocated to our new office on 44th Street in Van Buren, um, and, and that was a sign of our commitment to, to the community. Moving into the, the Discovery Triangle, you know, it's an area that's in, 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 in renovation, trying to really build out of that. Uh, connecting into the schools and things around us. We really want to make a difference for those kids that are in, 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 in difficult situations. We want to try to help break that cycle of, of the inner city kids that are, you know, really don't know what options are out there. So I know that CFMA provides some, some great opportunities to, to our folks. You know, it, it, to me it's, it, it, it's that three-legged stool that they provide, um, you know, from, from providing continuing education as well as the um, opportunity to, to, to maintain an eye on legislation that affects the construction industry, um, and, then, and then the networking opportunities, keeping people connected within the industry. When I was approached to, to, to be part of it, I was, I was, I, I was a little uh, set, set back a little bit because I never really uh, thought of myself in, in that role. But uh, as I thought about it more, it just it became very exciting to me, and I, I, uh, I'm, very, I'm very proud to be nominated and to, to have this opportunity to, to, to be on the panel.